YouTube, it's your boy O'Dame, owner of Tidy Up Auto. We are a mobile detail, mobile mechanics company. We do anywhere from oil changes to change a whole engine to detail car, make it look nice. Keep it tidy. Keep it tidy. right now huh <laughs> no I don't camera shy now <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys today about my van uh, just walking around here so this is my setup I have my pressure washer here I run a 50 gallon tank I have uh, a 10 gallon auxiliary air tank I got a hose drill over there with a air gauge I fill up customers tires check all their fluid stuff like that I'm a mechanic by trade so you know we try to go in the moment. We even do brakes or anything like that too as well. So if you come in here, while detailing, I even check out light bulbs. So we got an array of different light bulbs, stuff like that. This is my buffer and BA bucket. I don't do paint correction. I do more like a paint enhancement. So I definitely make it look better than it was. You know? That holds, holds my vacuum hose over there. And I also have one for my interior. It holds like my uh, guns like this stuff here, you know, Wheel, uh, brush and everything like that. I have an ozone generator. I also got a steamer down there with a carpet extractor. I do have bigger ones, but you know, I don't break them out all the time. This is my van. It's a 2005 Honda Odyssey. Um, so there's only really so much you can put inside of it. I try to keep the weight off the back because I do need to uh, upgrade the rear uh, springs and struts and stuff like that. But uh, if you guys come around here, I'll show you. I do have a generator, but my van is set up to uh, run power out of this van. I have it set up here if you want to get back there for me. I have two deep cycle batteries back here. Sorry, excuse the noise. That's my uh, air compressor running. It's my California air. If you can still hear me, one of the quietest air compressor I've ever owned. I own their auxiliary tank too. I have the hose right here. It pulls out about 50 feet. It's being filled up right now. And like I said, I, I, I fill up tires or whatever the case may be. I have uh, lights here for nighttime um, with a, connected to a switch. I'm a little bit of a techie, so you know, I do pretty much everything. This whole van is custom made by me. Over here, we have our 50 gallon water tank. I usually don't fill it up all the way. I'm from New Jersey, it's starting to get cold. I have a tank heater on here. This is my uh, tank heater so the water doesn't freeze and destroy uh, any of my system. I also have one on the pump over here. It keeps it roughly about, I think, 60 degrees and it automatically turns off. I got all this stuff uh, from Amazon. This is my uh, system here. This is running the air compressor right now. It's connected to the heat cycle batteries in the back. And while my van is running, I have a system set up up front under my hood where uh, when I'm driving to customer site, I'm gonna come over here, I'll show you. So while I'm driving to customer sites, uh, my alternator is actually charging my rear batteries up to be used once I get there. They're usually charged up at nighttime too as well. And I, like I said, I have a generator. If I ever run into any issues, I'll just run the generator. And customers really don't mind if you use their power. Um, but like I said, I have a cutoff fuse here for the rear batteries. Like I said, this wire runs all the way from here to the front. And um, yeah, my extension cords and stuff like that. I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how this stuff kind of works. Uh, like I said, once my air compressor shuts off, it's a little noisy right now. Um, I'll uh, explain to you guys exactly what's uh, going on with that stuff. You see, this is a Jupiter generator. Uh, it runs my pressure washer. This runs everything else. Uh, I charge up all my batteries and stuff from it and everything like that. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I run the system off uh, my battery packs in the back of my uh, pressure washer. Right here, so it goes off. Show you guys how I fill the bucket up. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how I I kind of just pull up, hop out, and wash the car. You know? So you see, this is this is all being powered by my van right now. Um, I use a turbo wash, but it's not that much pressure, especially if I'm this far away. But any detail I'll let you know, turbo uh, wash is only really for the wheel, the wheel well. So yeah, you see how that kind of works, like, 
I can pretty much do this stuff all day and it's powered by my van. I don't have to run any extra like generator, any extra pollutant, you know, trying to save the earth a little bit. <laughs> we clean the wheels first you know but for demonstration purposes we're just gonna really foam up the car show you guys how that stuff kind of works you know and you know take care of the situation maybe first i'll lift these up as well I just grab my wash bucket. I don't do the two bucket method. I feel like it's a load of crap. You know, especially when you got the car foamed up, you know, just grab my little wash mitt. So you see, we start from the top to the bottom. Obviously, if you pick up any dirt, you could bring your bucket around. Get the sides. I try to cut down wash time. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes like, other cars are dirtier than others. You know, if you see any heavy stuff in the way, just take it off the, off the paint and put it pick it up in the mitt and it's easy see this customer's car i washed it before so i don't have to really go too crazy maybe i washed the car like once a month so it's not crazy dirty but it, it was dirty you know maybe get your windshield also i'm using commercial grade products uh, this is products that customers can't get in uh stores like they can't just walk into an auto zone and get my foam wash and stuff like that maybe it's the same chemical who knows i haven't tested it but when it when they look at my packaging they don't know where to get it from i try to do that uh you know and also it makes the car looks better they wouldn't put professional use only on if it wasn't professional <laughs> like i said usually i wash the wheels first but this is just a demonstration I'll show you guys that i can uh efficiently wash a car from a 2005 honda odyssey <laughs> no problem Be a movie star. Yo, word, bro. You about to be a movie star, cuz. <laughs> come through with this stuff this is also a uh, commercial grade uh spray wax it lasts about maybe three four months it makes the car look good so i just spray it all over the car and that's pretty much it i spray my chamois and then i uh wet it up a little bit because you know how this stuff works it works better wet I didn't know that. You didn't know Shammy's work right away? No. Now you know, my brother. <laughs> so, there you go. So, we just grab it. And we can just legit, like, the car, because the car has been washed before, you know, we're just trying to knock off the heavy, heavy water droplets. And then we're going to come through with our drying towel. 
and uh, yeah, but I'm just using this moist thing to really work the, the wax, the spray wax in because it works with water. A little bit goes a long way. And it'll look good once I start buffing it off with uh, my drying towel. Also guys, uh, I wanna show you guys how I uh, utilize my air to um, take care of it. Like I said, that's a two gallon tank and then it's connected to a 10 gallon that it fills up. Um, but like I said, this pulls out about 50 feet on the auto rail. I use this one for is to blow out crevices and stuff like that. Like in here, I can't get a rag inside of here. So make sure I get water out of those areas before anything, you know? I can use to blow off the air too as well. I'm a mode mechanic too. Sometimes I have to use an air tool, but most of my tools are electric. But you know, sometimes old reliable air comes in handy. So yeah, like I said, you could you don't even have to open up here if it was just a simple wash and you didn't clean it. Up. system it could pretty much do a bunch of stuff i can plug a bunch of stuff up to my car but also like i said i have a generator too uh real quiet as well um i'll show you guys that in a second that's called good don't <laughs> this is not a detail or anything uh this is just a maintenance wash you know someone that usually drives through a ton of wash they only really wash their car once a month sorry for the airplane <laughs> this is just a quick wash and, and look all look good chilly out here though, but you see, I'm getting it done, I'm getting it done. It's gonna do it, bro. Damn! Damn, son! Quick wash. I got $200 back, that's fine. Okay. And you know what? You got my car looking good anyway, it's all good. Alright guys, so one of his tires are low, so I'm gonna show you guys how I use the same system on board to, uh, yeah, fill up the customer's tires so they don't have to go to the gas station. I turned on my little gas gauge. Right now they're reading at 24 PSI. I'm gonna try and get a neck up to 35. Since it's been cold, you know, air's been getting out the tires and stuff like that. Of course, you know, how you adjust a tire that has low air pressure. So yeah, we're back up to 35 PSI. Um, it's done, we just replaced their caps. And we're good. And all this air is coming from my van, guys, from my battery powered uh, system. Go to the back, check those out. We're gonna get them back up to 35. How you know they're supposed to be at 35? Quick backtrack. So that you know which PSI uh, your car tire pressure should be. If you come here, inside on your door jam, right here, next to what size tire should be on the car, it says uh, where your front should be and where your rear tire should be. So the front tires on this car should be at 35 and they want the rears at 33. Um, having 35 all around, there's nothing wrong with that and plus it uh, fluctuate. Also, it tells you what your spare tire should be at. It should be at 60 PSI. So all the information is on the door uh, slip right here if you need to know which, uh, how much PSI to put in your tire, you're not too sure. But if I'm there and I'm doing it for you, you don't have to worry about any of that uh, technical stuff. I'll handle the technical part. You just handle the deposits. All right, so I'm on the last tire. Get them up to 35 PSI. We're good. He's good to go. He doesn't have to visit a gas station. 100% convenient, you know. And boom. And like I said, even if he needs brakes one day, he might call us because we'll take care of that too as well. Hey, he might need an engine for his car one day. Uh, we do uh, work with in-network shops uh, where we get uh, like fleet pricing for mechanical work. So we can um, we can we try to get our customers the best pricing for like any mechanical work at all. We pretty much beat any price that anyone offers, but you know we still compete. Before I go, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I showed you guys my van, showed you guys on how I take care of a car in front of a customer's house. Um, 
Shout out to Hunter's Detail. Hunter helped build this company, man. And um, also, I want to shout out Wilson Detailing, Detail Groove, Success Garage. You my dog. Miranda. For all the, oh man, for all the details, man, you build some sick vans, bro. Some of this ideas and stuff is from you, but you know, you use a lot of diamond plate, and then, you know, that's a little bit more out of my budget. I started with what I had, uh, and I watched a lot of Detail Groove. Uh, most of my information comes from him and Hunter. Hunter, you almost got me in the vending business, man, but <laughs> I don't know, things change. Pretty much done with the day. I'm gonna show you guys uh, my garage and some of the stuff that I that I use. Hey, this is my wax as you dry, and you know, I use this as a one-step total interior cleaner. This also works pretty good. I have a lot of products by, um, by PNS, I use a lot of PNS products too as well. Um, but uh, yeah, let me show you guys uh, the garage. So yeah, guys, this is um, my garage. I'm doing brakes right now to uh, to a Colorado out front. Um, this is a power system here that I'm working on for a customer. They uh, want something like the one that's in my back that can jumpstart their car, uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, I'm making one of those up for them. Add the McCulloch steamer too as well. Um, I have a rigid with the attachments and everything like that. Also, I have the Backmaster Pro Extractor. Um, yeah, and like I said, I have an array of tools um, over here. Like I said, from we do brakes, tune-ups. Uh, even if you need a new engine put in your car, we'll get it done, to be honest with you. Uh, over here is my 27-gallon water tank. This is what I was originally going to set up in my first car. It was an Acura TL. I was trying to start any way I could. And... Yeah, that was a 27 gallon and this is an auxiliary water tank this is 7.5 gallons i have two of these so i was trying to bring like 40 gallons in total in my van when i uh, had the system set up but i since put a 50 gallon tank in uh this is my auxiliary fill tank it has a little pump on it i'm gonna take this outside and show you guys how this works uh so yeah usually say if i run out of water out there in the field and i can't make it back home i'll ask the customer if i could fill up with water you know, and not every customer has a hose that can fit underneath my table here and go into my tank. So this is my auxiliary fill hose. It connects to here. I fill in here with water and it has a, a little filter on the end. Pumps on the top, 12 volts power supply on the back. And water will be pumped out the other end into my tank. I can fill this up five gallons at a time and you know, keep on going about my day. I even have an attachment for here where I can even use this and wash a car off too as well. Uh, mobile, we just need 12 more power. I'm gonna show you guys how, um, what kind of helps me with daylight savings uh, when it's getting real dark outside. Like now, you can't really see the interior of a car. So these lights, they fold out and they stretch out. And they pretty much could, if I show you guys, I'll turn the lights on. So, they turn on all right so now i got both lights on i put them across the interior to light up the interior so that i can continue to work and everything like that. It's pretty good at night time you know this is the generator that i use show you guys that this generator is super quiet and it's pretty much one full start all you gotta do is choke it so quiet you can probably still hear me over the video when it running and i use that like say if i'm doing heavy steaming and stuff like that uh i would use the generator if say i'm doing a lot of vacuum and the car is really really dirty um definitely do a, uh definitely use the generator for that but my van is also sufficient in doing quick cleanups like say just maintenance clients uh my van can do at least three in one day without needing any type of help plus like i can run the van say if my batteries in the back are dying I can turn the van on for my alternator to recharge my rear batteries and uh, I can um, keep continuing with my day. So not non-stop show, I can keep on going. I can connect uh, an extension cord to this and it'll handle everything just as fine. And like I said, sometimes customers don't mind if you use their power, their water. Like sometimes they even offer it to me, like they see me showing up and they're like, hey, do you need access to a hose or whatever? That. So don't think you can't start with what you have. Like you can definitely start detailing with with some rags. You go there and spray some uh, clean, uh, multi-purpose cleaner. I don't know. Don't do that. 
just you know like a waterless wash and then you know wipe the car off so it's definitely a lot of ways to be a detail not the way that i set up here in my van um and there's a bunch of different vans out there that look amazing said i have to get to the brake job on the chevy colorado over here uh, i do appreciate you guys watching uh hopefully you guys like and subscribe and all that craziness that you do on youtube to get me um if you guys have any questions uh, leave them in the comments anything like that you know i'm ready to help anybody show them how anything works i'm going to be making more videos on how stuff works and stuff like that uh, yeah you can follow us at tidy up auto on instagram as well and yeah i'll catch y'all later okay peace out start like literally like, like look at that it started and now and, and make sure you choke it right <laughs> sometimes i don't let it uh